Hey, Brian. Hey, good morning. Good morning. How you doing? I'm doing all right. How are you? <laughs> good. I'm just waiting for everyone to join. I don't know what happened. Um, well, there's a there's an error message that pops up from the CEO crossing link because that's where I went to do the Zoom. And it says that the Zoom time is out of sync with this event. So I ignored it and I just clicked on the link and I just got in. So, but it look it's in big red letters, like something's up, something's not gonna happen. What? Yeah, go to CEO Crossing. I I'm looking at it here, hold on. It works. Does it say 7.30 to 8.30? Yeah, that's what it said. Weird. It looked fine, so I clicked on it and it went through. So right here, see it says live Zoom mastermind. No, that's um, not it. Yeah, well, let's see. That's not what. So if I click on it. Let me. Uh, oh, only visible to the event creator. It appears this event is out of sync with the matching event Zoom us. This may have happened when settings were changed in matching event Zoom us. That aren't compatible here. Click on update Zoom event. Oh, there, I guess it is now. <laughs> Thank you for telling me that. Yeah, now it's gone. So now oh, the yeah, yeah now there, the I still event. have it. You get the, the red box. Yeah, it's yeah. The update Zoom event. Yeah, I updated it. I mean, I don't know. It looked like it was perfectly good to go. Weird. Yeah. Huh. Well, I don't know where Eric is. Curtis is, has COVID. I had about eight people said they were coming. Some, some um, new CEOs from like New York, um, Chicago. So maybe there's something with the link then. Weird. I don't know. Uh, maybe. Hmm. Well, bummer. I guess it'll. It's a nice trial run, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, at least I get to see you in the morning. There you go. Hi. Good morning. How are you? <laughs> I just. Yeah, I had this whole thing planned out. We're gonna do a CEO crossing mastermind, eight dimensions of ultimate leadership, and and introduce everyone and have them pull one of their favorites and talk about it and. Um, you know, uh, start this off with a bang, boom, here we are. <laughs> well, I mean, that's, this, this is normal stuff. I've been on a lot of Zooms, especially first time around. Yeah, it's a lot. new meeting. It's kind of, we got to like get the momentum, you know, and like, and Eric, awesome. he must be taking his kids to school. So it's kind of, you know, what it is, I guess. Um, I can't even see you now. I lost you. I can hear you. Oh, you can't? Oh, sorry. Uh, Here, I'll stop sharing. How about now? Uh, hmm. Is that, uh, is that working? I can't find you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm lost in all the screens. You're lost in space. <laughs> oh, I'm lost Where are you? Zoom. Launch meeting. Uh, I uploaded, I loaded a cool post. Maybe while you're here, we can drum up some. I tried to post, um, I, Eric hadn't even seen it yet, his interview and, you know, pitching CEO Crossing and uh, uh, my effortless marketing. Yeah. Yeah. On the, on the um, live feed, did you see that? Mm -mm. Did anything I did last night work? I mean, did anyone get an announcement? <laughs> oh my God. Are we in Mercury um, retrograde again? Like Twilight Zone. Um. <laughs> I was buried yesterday. We had a, a huge good thing happen. We got a, a new client. It's a four and a half billion dollar company. Oh, wow. Um, that has 82 offices with over 800 salespeople around the country. And uh, they they signed up for Sales Manity, which is the oh, nice. the new B two B version of Ad Manity, and that's huge. 
because if they all if, if all the office is on board it's about a million dollars a year account for us oh that's amazing congratulations yeah. all your hard work is paying off a little bit yeah that's so exciting so yesterday was onboarding them make sure that the damn thing's working correctly of course they filled out the form rom and it, it was oh, no. <laughs> they patched it all up like, oh. <laughs> million always have it only happens to the million dollar guys oh right oh my gosh i know the pressure's on you want your tools and systems just like stealth yeah. at that point right but he was really he was really excited about it it's a company that does payroll and uh benefits hr stuff for companies uh -huh. they become sort of your satellite office for all that crap that you don't want to do anyway they're a four billion dollar company and um they're huge, just oh. huge. That's so. cool. So <laughs> sales at Manatee teaches them how to use that Manatee protocol to get their ideal client, right? Um, yeah, what it does is it gives the host or the, in this case, them, the ability to give the test to their prospects. They have to buy so much a month. They buy them like a stock photo plan. Uh -huh. So and you use them one at a time. Every time you give out a test, it takes one away from your pile, and um, and then when it, it renews every month automatically on a monthly plan. So it's our monthly revenue plan. But what it does is it gives them the ability to drive their own tests and um, and get the results and see what how and, and basically it's a schmooze tool for them. Oh, cool. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I'm looking at all the emails I sent. It says November 9th, so it's next week. I sent all the invites that people said they were coming. Uh, <laughs> but I'm surprised Eric and Curtis, I mean, Curtis is sick, so that's a, you know. But now I'm looking like, you know, now that gives us, but all the people that I really wanted to like introduce and like get them in here now, I'm looking at it as like November 9th. How'd that happen? Well, it gives you another week to, put the program together yeah well i i got it i i spent like all night till two in the morning doing this thinking <laughs> that i was going to come unswinging today <laughs> that sucks what a ding dong it's all good oh man um but yeah maybe while you're on here i can pick your brain congratulate that's awesome like that probably relieves a lot of you know pressures of having to run up you know go out and make a bunch of deals right i mean but, well, they signed up, they're testing it at a thousand dollar a month level. And, um, and if they all go that way and the, and the guy said, if it works here, we're going to take it right upstairs to the whole company. And, yeah. uh, so I got to make it work here in Scottsdale. Um, but yeah, it's huge. It's just ridiculously game changing. And it all came from a LinkedIn, um, random hookup. Just I love that. The guy, that's how, the we guy met. That's to... how Eric and I met. That's how I always meet my best clients or is just random LinkedIn hookup. I love yeah. that. He was looking yeah. for, he was a sales guy looking to uh, see if I want, I needed payroll services. And I, and I'm thinking, nah, I really don't need that, but I'll, I think I have something that might interest you. Right. And kind of look at your deal and you look at mine type of thing. Yeah. But he shows up on the zoom call with his regional manager on the zoom. Uh -huh. which I wasn't counting on and all the regional manager wanted to talk about was ad manatee. So I just rolled with it. And one week later they're paying us. It's, it's ridiculous. Yes. That's awesome. Yeah. You know what? I found a check from some of the affiliate stuff. I never, uh, cashed from a man. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, I'm oh, like, wow. wait a minute. I uh, thought I cashed this, but I guess I got another one that I was in my pile of mail but it'd been like a hundred days or something. So I couldn't cash it, but you'll probably see there's like one, an outstanding check there for me at some point. Oh, well, we can get <laughs> you another one. Are you so rich you don't need those? Cause no, I do need those. No, <laughs> I wanted some fluff money, you know? I'm like, yeah, I just wanted to cash it with, for cash. And they're like, oh, this is 90 days old. I was like, oh, okay. do you have your you have your cup and your amazing coffee today? And, you know, um, yourself. I'm washing, I'm washing it. I used it yesterday. So I got a boring cup today. Oh, nice. I, should, I have yeah, mine I too. See, like yeah. I have my own too. So it's an all match. <laughs> well, I'll, I'll make sure. With all your guys' faces on it. 
like you know a collage of the guests wouldn't that be cool yeah I mean, it's a cool cup i mean it's very uh it's a nice cup i mean they're not cheap oh. to go buy those kinds of things oh, no. those things are like 15 bucks yeah and like custom like that they're 30. oh yeah yeah i would and that's so. worth it a good client someone to like remember you and like top keep you top of mind you know it's like a very good tool and to be right. able to you know I can use it now for Christmas gifts too. And I can send it to whoever I want. I can oh, yeah. use blankets. Gift. I mean, the, the place has a bunch of cool gifts. So you can do chocolates, you can do brownies, you can do, you know, calendars. You can pick all kinds of cool gifts. That's yeah. cool because one of the things in, in the Admanity reports is we recommend certain gifts, right? And, and uh, we tell you kind of what, we get you in the ballpark of what you ought to be giving for your archetype. Oh, but yes, I'm, exactly. Yes, let's talk about that. Because someday I want to create gift manity. Gift manity. And what that will be is, so let's say we've got 100,000 people out there that have taken the test. And they've each got an archetype. And so we know the gifts that would be good for that. So we go to all these gifting places, like, like the one you just found. And fairy tale brownies and Omaha steaks and whatever, all yeah. of those companies that can ship. And we just say, look, um, I got 10,000 people right now in our database that we want to recommend your gift to. Would you give us a great deal? How much will you pay us to match you up with these people so they can just order direct from you? Because we're going to tell them that this is a perfect match for their archetype. And some will. And when they do, we get paid. We don't have to inventory any gifts that way. We just match people up 15 times a year, you know, the perfect uh, Valentine's or the perfect, you know, um, anniversary or the perfect whatever gift, Halloween gift. Yeah, it, whenever there's a, just an occasion to gift, yeah, we'd be matching them up. I'm going to pull it up here just because this is so insightful. I think that we could... I'll use a lesson in this um, because it's really not that obvious, right? So, so go to go to um, go up to the, to the upper left there in the uh, in the table of contents, the little three lines, the three lines. Oh yes, um, uh, right, yeah, and then go to um, um, right there, section seven, customers, colors, and gifts, and then go down to the last one. Uh, the last one, gifts, what your clients really need. Oh, yes, yeah, gifts, what your there clients you really want. They want a picture of themselves is what they want. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good, we yeah. have a new guest. Alexis will be here. Cool. She's, she's awesome. So let's see, go, turn the page. Let's see what, um, what you, what's your report, attraction? This one's attraction for coaching. Hi, Alexis. Thanks for joining us. Good morning. Good morning. I guess I messed up the link. Um, so we, we have a sparse amount because I put the ninth instead of the third, but I'm happy you're here because Brian's here, the Admanity, uh CEO of Admanity Protocol, the um, master marketing genius who created this cool algorithm for getting your perfect clients by using the subconscious mind. <laughs> Or something like that, right, Brian? Close enough. <laughs> okay. Uh, so we're talking about gifting right now. Um, Thanks. Yeah. And Turn so this page. might be a good one for catering clients, you know, people that spend more than like a thousand or two thousand dollars with you on caterings. You could like right before the, the upswing. Are you guys doing Thanksgiving dinners this year? Um, we are offering it. Um, I'm not sure how many people are going to join, but, um, yeah, we are definitely going to need to start posting things. It's just been a whirlwind. <laughs> I know it's like one thing after another these days. Yeah. Well, I'm happy um, to hear that. So I think, uh, the clients that you've had to do catering, um, do you, have you felt like you, you should send them something to kind of remind them and nudge them that you're, you're here and that may be buttering them up a little bit. 
Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. what. So that's what Brian's going to tell us about right here: how to better up our clients and make them remember us, keep us top of mind, and um, there's like a whole psychological a psychology to it. Oh, cool. So, yeah. So go ahead, and, hey Charity. Go ahead and turn the page one more time. Oh, okay. Let's see what's on the next page. Okay. All right. So. <clears throat> You're in the change category of ad vanity because of, you're the attraction brand. So your your customers like change, improvement, transformation, right? They're attracted to that kind of cool thing, mm -hmm. and so you'll see the um, the other change archetypes: altruism, uh, you know, innovation. So there's some suggestions there in in the bold text for the kinds of things that you could look at that match for those types of people. So oh, I love that, buy one, donate one. That's cool. Yeah, they like to see things change. You know, the more you can associate your brand with transformational things, the better off you're gonna be. So you don't wanna give a box of candy necessarily, um, but you might give, um, you know, something that's a little more um, healthy or something that transforms them into a better human being somehow, you know, it's, so you, these are just suggestions, but, you know, like what I was saying earlier, we would get real specific with this. So we would say, hey, Charity, we got this awesome uh, company and they do, uh, let's say, let's pick one here. Let's say, um, per, let's say personality assessments. OK, something mm -hmm. like that. And um, you give a gift of that because you know that your people love to see uh, that kind of stuff. And so these are just suggestions. But then, you know, it, it keeps them liking you versus giving the wrong kind of gift, which makes them just forget about you or they don't know why you bothered uh, to give them that. And so yeah. these are just suggestions, but it, it does get you in the frame of thinking um about how you could be a little more on brand with it you know yeah so that's cool um that's one one idea then so altruistic and then expertise right uh, yeah there's you have a lot of expertise in your brand obviously so anything that enforces that is good um keeps you in the teacher role um Innovation is all based on change. Something new is coming, always something new and different in an innovation frame of mind. So if you like to give techie stuff, um, <clears throat> you can do that. Oh yeah, that. techie stuff. And people are giving away like hand sanitizer. <laughs> You're like, I mean, if someone gives me another hand sanitizer, I mean, I literally have a pile over here in my thing. I'm like, can we be a little more genuine? Like, is that really going to warm someone up? <laughs> How do you feel? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. How about some bathroom cleanser to go with it? Gee, can, Jeez, you know. I mean, do I need mouthwash you? I mean, <laughs> yeah. yeah. But that's like, I really love, I really love the idea of, um, you know, the betterment factor. So like I'm doing this collagen thing. So I got these little elixirs, right? And it's like this green algae that's supposed to like, you know, restore your skin, your body, your hair, your nails. And, it, and it's farmed from like the Australian sea and like um, very hard places to find this algae that really actually 99.8% reflects actual human DNA collagen. And it's all natural. And it's like literally changed my life since um, I've been taking it. I, I've noticed like in my skin, my nails, it's all dewy and soft. And I want everyone to know it's there because it's kind of a rare thing. Um, but it doesn't really have anything to do with my coaching, you know? Um, but it does cause it's about, you know, loving yourself and, and, and investing in something that's going to make you feel youthful and restore your skin. So yeah. is that, it's the same approach or no, that's just weird to like give. Um, yeah, no, it could be, uh, it's a uh, it's organic it's you know healthy and all that but it's about change you're you're changing your skin right it's about transforming becoming more attractive to the world yeah. so for some of your clients obviously the guys won't care but the the women 
clients might really like something because my you're first two clients of- were men <laughs> Yeah. yeah, the first two people that ever bought the product for me were guys. Is that really? weird? And they noticed the weird thing was like, hey, your skin looks really good. Okay, one was an accountant. <laughs> and he's like, wait. Uh, I was like, oh, you notice? I'm like, oh, let me go get my college. And I'm like, this is these little these little mixer bottles. You just take a shot, tastes like white grape juice. It feels good going down. And then you take one when you go to bed. And he's like, ah, I've been really wanting to do something with my skin. So I think that guys are changing because they're starting to do that self-care and they're starting to like realize, yeah, I need to invest in keeping my face looking good and everything, my hair. But you don't feel that way. You don't really need it because you have great hair. You have a lot of it, right? So and you already have like that, that glow. So you must do something. Do you guys do that? uh, For my skin? Yeah. Do you have a face care routine? No, you know, I'm just, I'm lucky. I don't have wrinkles and uh, never did. So in that sense, I'm, 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 I'm lucking out a little bit, but uh, I don't, hopefully we'll never look shriveled up and old. Yeah. We, yeah. Uh, okay. So I, so that's a healthy lifestyle gift then, right? Or. Yeah, it's uh well, let's see. Um, yeah, there's a little innovation in there, but you know, it's really just uh, you it's just one of the many ways I, I, Charity Brown, continue to instruct you, transform you, improve you. So whenever you're improving, I want you to be reminded of me. Exactly. Like every time they take that, every night, um, they think of you. Yeah. First brand. thing they wake up, they need to be thinking of me. So, right. You know, so those kind of gifts are great for that different. because they remind the <laughs> constant constant reminder of who you are just like the coffee mug when you give that out every morning if they use that how could they forget you and so you love gifts that linger (laughs) that that hang around and are not consumed so like if you give a box of candy you know within 30 days it's gone forever um you know that's maybe not as good right because you could do it but it's not about transformation or improvement is it it's really not it's more yeah. about um, temptation. Uh, so, yeah, it's just cool. a, this. Is, this is a guide. Eventually, we're going to get a lot more detailed with it. But I mean, you gotta, well, Alexis, have you seen this? Have you done the free report on my um, to to get your Manity protocol for either your? Um, are you doing the freelance accounting thing, or are you just doing barbecue right now? As your. Um... I am, I'm in several different things. Um, (laughs) (laughs) um, but no, I haven't done the report, um, yet. Um, we, yeah, we had some crazy turnover situation happen in, in my regular nine to five. So I've been doing essentially the work of two people and yeah, um, haven't had really time to dedicate to, anything else but I did um I you know I have been trying my yeah. best to, to pull away and yeah but when it's your bread and butter and your the way your children take all your money from you it's kind of hard to <laughs> right I know I live to take care of my 23 year old <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah um, yeah Not so fun. that's that's I think this is going to be exciting for you when you do um okay. have time and stuff and I want to um you get a session with Brian, he'll, he'll look at your business as, or maybe he can give you, give us some insight right now. So on food services and hospitality catering and oh food, really uh, yeah. What kind, what can we, what kind of, because I only have the attraction and the, um, the authority. Cause I guess I could be the authority in barbecue, but it's different because they're selling a product, right? Yeah. She wouldn't be authority if she's in the food industry. Um, no matter how, uh, authoritative she might be let's say that she's the number one what, what kind of food is it alexis it's barbecue um southern food okay so even if you were the number one barbecue place in the whole city you still wouldn't be the authority brand you might mm. be an authority uh, in that sense but you wouldn't be you wouldn't want to market like an authority brand would authority brand is very much based on trust and mm-hmm. you really would be more of the temptation brand and um oh, ah, temptation yeah because it's about what people crave and desire and want and how to make them want it 
crave it and desire it. Um, that's what you want. You want people coming back again and again and again and again because they're kind of hooked on your on your 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 barbecue. And so the temptation report shows you how to do that. Right. Then if you were doing catering, uh, do you actually go into people's homes? Uh, yes. Okay. Um, that's probably a different uh, test okay. because the the kind of person that wants somebody to come into their home is looking for a different payoff. They're looking to be the uh, center of attention. They want to throw a successful event. They they want everybody to ooh and ah about their great <laughs> food and you know cater to their ego a little more. Um, mm. As much as much as the food's still important, it's uh, it's not the uh, it may not be the number one reason why they're booking you. Um, yes, the food has to be awesome. Uh, the presentation has to be great. Mm -hmm. But they're more concerned that they're the hero of the day with this fantastic party and everybody says it was awesome and thanks them. And, gotcha. Right. So different kind of emotional triggers for that person than the one who's just going to get lunch. So, um, mm -hmm. so it's not temptation then for catering? Uh, the food business in general, if, if you just want people to come eat the barbecue at your, say, at your restaurant or food truck or something like that, uh, it's more, more than likely going to come out temptation. Okay. Uh, but catering can come out, uh, it can come out to be prestige, uh, you know, uh, a little more to the ego. I'm throwing this party because it's my birthday and I deserve to have a nice party and I want what I deserve and I'm going to do this and I'm going to spend the money. Right. And, and it's my treat, my reward. And yeah, I want everybody to look up to me when this is over. I want to be admired as well. Different motivators completely, um, which you wouldn't, you wouldn't see it in either of these two reports here. Um, but let's, let's show her what there is in here, just because you're going to see how useful this is with your marketing, with your content, like, um, which one should I, should we review? Um, sure. Uh, uh, well, let's see. Um, just click on view results of one of those brand briefs. Just click on one. That's fine. <clears throat> so Alexis, when you take your, your test, it takes mm -hmm. five minutes. We ask you a bunch of simple questions and we archetype you. So in this case, she got attraction. That's a category. Okay. And so she did it for clarity with charity, which is uh, the reason she got attraction is because it's a transformational archetype. Um, mm -hmm. Makes you a more attractive individual to the world. Think of it that way, not just, you know, like beautifies you like cosmetics, but also a better person all around, smarter, younger, thinner, richer, taller, and all those things. So then you get this report and you can scroll down charity and, and, show her that you get, um, based on your test, you get this brand, we call it a brand brief. Is this and, the free uh, report? Well, this isn't, it isn't free, but it's the first thing you see after you've, well, the way it works, Alexis, is it's $397, you get a 30 day money back guarantee. So this is the first thing you'll see um, where it, we identify exactly what you are to the world. And we tell you, this is what the world wants to see from you. This is how you should present yourself. Um, and this is, and there's do's and don'ts in this little report. And it, it gives you a nice overview. Then down here at the bottom, it says, please check your inbox. You're going to get even more. This is 1% of what we give you. Then you go into your portal, which is where we were just a minute ago. And there's 150 pages of strategies, tactics, all the words, the phrases, the metaphors, the formulas, um, the upselling strategies, everything your brand will ever need. So if you were the temptation brand, it would give you uh, all the different ways that you sell temptation to the world and, um, and just basically lays it out for you. So it's like an owner's manual for, for your brand for life. Very cool. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And you get access to a lot of other things in the portal, training videos, uh, podcasts, case studies. We, it's like a masterclass in how to market um, emotionally, though. Everything we do is based on emotion. Mm. So when most business owners sit down to write an ad, 
they just put the facts and they tell people what they do and they give them as much as they can to you know sort of self describe themselves to the to the reader or yeah. to the social media person or whoever they're catering to but they don't trigger the right emotions with that mm -hmm. information time bomb that they just it's very informational it's very cool and it appeals to the wrong side of the brain the brain that does not buy the rational mm -hmm. side your rational mind cannot purchase it cannot make a decision it can only organize your thoughts mm. it's your subconscious that buys right right and the subconscious reacts to emotions that's why they always say people buy on emotion because it's the subconscious mind that says i'm hungry get me barbecue now <laughs> yeah it's right? that you feel can... good food you see <laughs> Yeah, the, your rational mind would say, well, I'm hungry. Gosh, um, we could go out for Chinese. We could have pizza. We could have barbecue. We could have a steak dinner. But it's the emotional mind that says barbecue. I want that. And then yes. you're off and running. So oh. we teach you how to trigger the subconscious desires, um, which work a hundred times better than the conscious mind thought process. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah, trigger that emotion in the copy. Like, are you just craving that home cooked, you know, fill your tummy with all the deliciousness? Do you just miss your grandma's cooking from way back in the day? You need some of that pecan pie? Oh, no. Actually, your sweet potato pecan. I still <laughs> crave, like, I'm like, if you, if you guys could fly out and do the barbecue, because we have eight grills on my pool side, okay? And I wanted to, like... Oh, wow. For my book launch, if we could have you guys just smoke in the house with all those briskets, oh my god, that like would that would be like the ultimate. But I know that's yeah. a, a pipe dream, and I don't have the budget for that flight, right now, <laughs> but I sure the heck would because you you guys do barbecue, you know, right? No liquid yeah. smoke, weird, you know, no. put it in the yeah. oven. You got the ribbons in your, you know, and, and there's so much emotion there for people that really value and appreciate good barbecue. Like you could mm -hmm. find so many trigger words, you know? And so the report gives you like the key words that you want to stick in that copy. So like for me, it's desire, growth, improvement, stimulation, guidance, transforming, transforming, but mm -hmm. like for maybe right for like maybe temptation, it would be like <clears throat> luscious, delicious around, you know, like, right. It will give you like mm -hmm. yummy words that will just Yummy words, yeah. The yummy we, words. We give you about a thousand, <laughs> about a thousand words and phrases in the report. Um, so these words here just give you sort of a ballpark. But um, yeah, it's uh, when you get to write copy. I mean, I've even had professional copywriters tell me that when they sit down to write copy, you know, we're all the same. We have our chosen list of words in our head. You know, mm -hmm. we can all we all sort of, sort of fall into this pattern. But when you get your report. You see all the words that sell your brand. And so it's like, even copywriters are like, I would never, I would never come up with this many. <laughs> I mean, it's just crazy to have them all at, at your fingertips. Yeah. You know, let me, let me feature that. I just want you to see the value because I know this is something that you would benefit greatly from when you're all ready to jump in, just know it's here. So you'll know, you know, if you're feeling like, man, I really should look at my primal colors, my trigger, that subconscious for people in this space. So it takes all the guesswork out of all your posts and mm. um, it'll tell you, oh, you need an, like, I don't know, an iconic figure, like, you know, even Larry, Larry's kind of iconic. So you could like make him that iconic barbecue buff, you know, and, mm -hmm. um, you know, with the muscle and the, you know, it, yeah. it goes with your brand. Yeah. So the heavyweight, you know, bringing the bringing Larry in with the, the mitts, you know, or even bringing in, um, you know, that's one of the keys that he talks about in here is using, um, what pages, what page is the, um, like where the colors and like the keywords and, uh, go to section six, if you want to show her the words and then the colors are, are, are after that. Five, six, copyright your ghost. Yeah. Yeah, you know, we call it the ghost section because it's like having a ghost writer. Um, but for charity, she's all about change and improvement, right? So mm -hmm. click click forward about six pages now. Yeah, there he is. <laughs> there he is, the ghost. Iconic. 
So, okay, so here, give you some ideas. This is, we start to get into the actual words. Oh, wow. Um, so, you know, accelerate, adapt, admire, advantage, alluring, assertive, you know, fashionable, fantastic, you know, eye-opening. These are words and phrases that indicate that something good is, is going to happen or something transformational might be in process. Okay. Um, and so you just start working these into your everyday social media, uh, your, your email copy, your website, your funnels, every, every single thing you do. And so go ahead and keep clicking through charity, just to give her an idea. So, you know, provocateur, you know, uh, seductive, your barbecue oh. could be seductive, right? It could be. <laughs> Finger I know. <laughs> yeah, I know. It, it, I'll, I'll tell you what. Um, this is a scientific fact. The um, the part of the brain that processes good food like that is the same part of the brain that, that's aroused by sex. So, mm. so that's why we have sexy, sensual, sensual in here. Um, you know, decadent, delicious, mm. tantalizing, um, sexy words uh, appeal. <laughs> to temptation yeah. brands and in some cases you know if you sold uh you know maybe um something dull like tortilla you know chips you wouldn't use those words right but <laughs> but in your case barbecue is like finger food right it's messy and it's it's sexy right it's it, it it's 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 very uh intimate dining um uh kind of way to you, know, you have to get into it right you can't yeah. can't be nice and clean you gotta almost get dirty so it's um <laughs> Uh, it, we like a lot it. Of, some of these words would work for you, you know. <laughs> yeah, um, for sure. And then short, click one more, uh, show her one more. Okay, so now we get into phrases. So these could end up becoming bullet points in your ad, um, just as they're written. Uh, so I mean, it just helps you get to the better copy. Most people will not write like a copywriter, right? And a copywriter is a thousand bucks a page, right? So you you know, most people couldn't afford one. Uh, we just got a quote from a guy uh, for a uh, hundred emails that we just wanted to see what he would charge to write 100 emails for us. Um, and it was $100,000. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Just Is it mail copy? Is it, or yeah. Yeah. Well, we used it. We, we already had written them. So we just thought it'd be fun to see what, what it was worth, but yeah, the lowest quote we got was 35,000. So. Wow. That's some, yeah, wow. good copywriters are worth their weight in gold and they're, they're technically worth it, but who's got that kind of money to. Oh my gosh, Brian it? and, and Alexis have an amazing tool. Sorry. I, I, you just, you just, um, whoops. Hey, we know we're hopeless right now. We want Jarvis. Have you heard of Jarvis? Oh my God. Brian, um, you're going to love this. The Marvel movie? <laughs> the Marvel movie. No, but it's Jarvis.ai. Okay. This is my yeah. new best friend. Um, literally the future of writing blogs, articles, sales copy. It's freaking amazing. It's the the emotional trigger machine um in writing. Right. And, and it will rewrite everything. I was gonna rewrite my book and put all my different pages in here and have it re-spin it because it pulls every single um, I don't know. It just makes it all yummy and delicious. Everything you write, like even an email, if you want, and you can tell it like, oh, this is for business or this is for fun or this is for, um, huh. Why isn't it giving me my login? I mean, it, it has like, it's so highly intelligent. Um, mm, that's cool. Yeah. And it's, it's practical. It's only like 40 bucks a month and you just copy and paste your copy and it'll respin it, add the words, put it in certain paragraphs, you know, make it like, and it's, it's got so much data from how people respond, you know, to, to just writer's block will never be a problem again. Okay. And I, cause I kept getting writer's block for like the last year, I would have so much time. I'd have like my, I would have to go out running and just be like, okay, this is going to come out. I got to get this out. And so if I would have had this, I would have probably got my book done like six months before, because that was my problem is I couldn't write it in a way that would resonate with the reader. And so in this program, you can actually tell, tell it the impact you want it to have. And then you copy and paste what you have, and then it will spin it. So it feels that way to the reader. 
Wow, that's pretty awesome. Yeah, and it comes with all the words and you can, and it, we can do thousands of pages of copy respect. Like <clears throat> it, it's got so many, you can do content, you can do, yeah, say Facebook posts, ads, sales copy for books, for blogs, for, I mean, it just has everything. It's, it's like one of the best tools for do writing. You write, do you write it out your way first? Like, like write the whole paragraph out and then submit it? Or do yeah. you just give it some keywords and it writes the paragraph? Um, I think it does both, but I had written it out, kind of the keywords, um, but there's like a tutorial. Um, I'm not a, a super pro at it yet, but um, yeah, books by Jarvis, blog by Facebook groups. Um, I don't know why I saw it in email. Huh. But I'll definitely check that out. Yeah, you would definitely benefit from... Um, trying that out because it, it literally has changed my life in regards to how I feel about writing. Like, cause I could take the vanity protocol and follow it and put the words. Cause you can say what kind of words or emotions do you want to trigger in this writing? And then I can use the admanity protocol words and put them in. So it, it spins it into the exact. Wow. Protocol. Yeah. Very cool. Uh-huh. Yes. Sorry. I, <laughs> Jarvis. I don't know, since we do it, we're kind of like, you know, chief everything officers, we're doing everything, um, you know, writing our copy, posting our links, you know, doing the engagement, designing, it really takes the guesswork out of, is that going to sound okay? Is that going to mm -hmm. hit the client, right? Or is that going to, the audience going to like that? And I have the, I, I just... I just um, am more a little writer, like I can write the thoughts in my head and organizational kind of writer, like a business writer. But when it comes to like creative, you yeah, know, fantasy or, you know, creating a writing that, um, you know, resonates in that sense, I get I get writer's block really bad. So mm -hmm. it, it's it's my remedy to to my, 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 my problem. Here's my solution. So I hope that helps you guys too. Um, I should approach these guys about hooking up with us because if we could give all their 40,000 customers an ad vanity report, then they would have a better idea what emotions to, to write to. Yeah. Um, and if you read the back end, how they did, because it's an AI, they say it's an AI intelligent where they put like, I don't know how many millions of data of script and human conversation to be able to do this but they definitely had some data pool that um made it just so like they 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 got enough data on conversation because it does conversation chat too and it does <sighs> to log in. Um, sure Cause I could show you like, give it a whirl for a second. We could test it with Brian. He's, he's a pro at this kind of test. That'd be good to like, he'll probably realize stuff that I never even noticed, you know? Um, um, Cause there are so many options and templates and um, so AI outputs. See if I even have any. Recipes, templates, so look at let's look at the templates. There's a problem with all this. Oh yeah, so frameworks, emails, websites, blogs, ads, e-commerce, social media, Google, videos, and SEO. It'll write all the copy for that. Um, Facebook ad primary text, headlines. Um, Amazon products, testimonial helper, because I guess you can use this template to generate testimonials too, <laughs> which is nice. Um, so yeah, it's got like this amazing, amazing tool, personal bio. So I actually haven't had time to go back in and read my websites, but I'm going to use it um, and copy and paste all the, all the copy I have now and re-spin it with this tool. Oh yeah. And wow, I got a lot of they put a lot of thought into this. Yeah. I mean, it's, I, I really, I've never 
felt so excited about a new tool um, in that regard when it comes to um, other than your humanity before that was pretty like mind blowing um, because that that is really <clears throat> kind of like where a lot of people struggle and the guesswork comes into the copy, the marketing, the coloring, the, the items, the content. And um, yeah, here, let me, let me send you my referral link. Well, <clears throat> yeah, I'd like to look at that. Um, I'm gonna put it in here and you can maybe. Do they have a free trial? Yeah. Okay. And then it's like 39.99 or something. Um, so yeah, templates, I wanted to, I, I wanted to use one of mine as an example. Oh. Where is this? Where did it? Okay. So like the author, we help CEOs, chief everything officers, increase sales and profit margins with high tech financial media tools. So this was the content helper, um, that I use this for, um, and they literally added all these words. This allows for more effective decision-making, which leads directly to increased profitability. Chief executive companies do a higher level of efficiency, lower overhead costs, reduce wastefulness and efficiencies caused by human error, et cetera. Improve customer satisfaction and leading ultimately. So it, I, I just took this from my website and said that I needed this and it, it literally wrote that for me. Oh, wow. Yeah. So, <clears throat> I mean, it's, it's been, it's been a very helpful tool and I'm going to use it more. So if you feel like, you know, maybe your copy, um, on the website or something can use like a new spin for 2022, this would probably be like the easiest. It would take you like, you know, one hour to revamp and feel like, okay, now I have the emotional triggers, the AI writing that's still delivering the right message um, and, and, and deliver it in a way that people love to receive it and, and triggers them in the right way. Because I think we all accidentally trigger people, but maybe not in the right way. <laughs> you know, so I think that's kind of like a, a thing, like I, I have to be mindful of that because I know that I have that kind of nature of inadvertently triggering people. But that's also what makes a good coach because you have to trigger people for them to, if you want to, you know, implement transformation, right? So, but I want to do it in a way that makes them feel like a positive, right, emotion. Not oh, yeah. And mm -hmm. you or something. Um, so <clears throat> like these awesome words, determination, commitment, perseverance, you know, um, it, it really brought out the words that I was having so much time struggling with to really connect. I keep thinking, I keep get, get stuck in the weeds when, uh, sometimes in the manatee report, because I know those are the words I should use. But then I think about the emotion or the, the icon or, you know, there's a lot of variables. It's like a math problem, right? You have all these variables and you need to set them in the right formula correctly. And each one of those elements kind of has a lot to, you know, a lot of details. So, um, yeah, so I love it. I love the combo of those two will just be like, you know, it's like a stealth combo. Um, you know, and it just reminded me a lot of your same principles, Brian, and your development. Okay. No, it's just, it's very, it's, well, we don't do this much, right? We just give you the words, but um, same idea. If you don't know, you don't know what you don't know. And, and nobody thinks uh, through a copy uh, with like a computer would do. Um, you know, the computer has the advantage of knowing all the options. You only know what you thought of, uh, you know, today. Um, so it's interesting. What would you do if you really did have all the words at your disposal? Would it be more complicated or easier to understand? Because um, good copy is simple and um, doesn't have big words. And, you know, so my advice to you on this thing here would be to, when it asks you for key terms, uh, type in simple, simple words. Um, if, see if it helps, because 
maybe it'll make it a little easier to read copy instead of academic copy, which is always complicated, right? And yeah. I don't know what it, it probably are, but because um, this thing looks like it, they've thought they've thought it through pretty well. Yeah. Definitely gonna check into it. Yeah, because like even like for the for the podcast, you know, the show notes, and I'm just writing like strategically, like bullet point, you know, general. But is it representing the guest? Is it making people feel like I gotta listen to that? You know, is that striking a chord with me? And when I saw like the video script blueprint and show notes, I was like, oh my gosh, that's gonna save me like three hours per podcast if I could just take some general words, stick it in here, the gen, you know, the idea, and and then have it, it write it for me. Yeah. Yeah. So don't pay that hundred thousand dollars for those emails because <laughs> <laughs> here you go. <laughs> well, you know, you might find the magic in the sauce right here because this this is amazing. And I've only I gotta be at the basic one. Like if you got the boss one, you know, or whatever it's called. Um, what's it called? It's like there's like one where you get like unlimited pages, you know, and you can just like use it for thousands and thousands of writings. Um um but yeah well you guys I love that you showed up even though I messed up the time thank you <laughs> thank That's you so nice. much uh, so I'm and you know we're recording here so I'm gonna oh, no we're not recording are we yeah no, we are. okay mm -hmm. um if it's I'm gonna put I'm actually recording our mastermind so we can um use them and share with the group so this will be in the feed and I think, you know, to, to savor these and know that this is the kind of stuff that we're going to do is, is bring like key, key tips and tricks. And I'm going to do trainings. Like if you want to come back for 2022, um, live plan and kind of get recalibrated and dialed into the business, I'm thinking of doing like a planning one. Okay. And you already know how to use the program and everything, but, um, Definitely. You know, <clears throat> I want to share that with the group because that's really one of my other best tools. And um, I think that we all kind of want to do that because 2022 can, you know, be the year where we all have our comeback after COVID. And mm -hmm. if we like strategically align ourselves and have our goals really dialed in and you know, things like that, and then have support where people are all in it together to win it. And um, you know, there's a place to support one another in a private community without all the Facebook noise that we can really um, come together and support each other like our, you know, our vision is like Eric and, and Paul when we first started, I guess we all had that vision of that strategic alliance of support for business owners and CEOs and to really <clears throat> you know, bring in the tools, bring in the mm -hmm. value, really the, the mastermind round tables that they have, you know, where people leave their legacy and, and they stay for 20 years and, you know, really give back. So today I was going to go over the eight dimensions of ultimate leadership. Um, but I think maybe we got a really good one here anyway, with this amenity tool and marketing and exploring copy. And so I think that's a ton of value. If anyone were to rewatch this, they would just, their mind would be blown on the tools we just presented. Definitely. On the fly. On the fly. Yeah. Like, oh, let's just pick each other's brains, you know, let's see. And, and, you know, it's, it's awesome. And I, I really appreciate your guys' contribution. So, um, yeah. so just keep in mind, it'll be like that on Wednesdays. If you're up for it, I'd love to have you. And, and then also I want to invite you to host a mastermind um, that would be the other thing. It won't just be me always talking or having the framework <laughs> for the, the day. I want to invite the CEOs to, you know, talk about their business and their favorite tools and what kind of insight they can share with the group. Nice. And yeah, so right. yeah, I would love to have you keep coming back. And, and Brian, thank you so much for all your insight again. It's awesome. And I'm, is it okay yeah. to post the video, our video vlog on CEO Crossing or can you? Uh, post what, what do you want to post? Um, the, the video vlog of the interview that I did with you. Oh yeah, of course you can put it uh, anywhere you like. 
Okay. Cause I, I, or if, if you can like maybe say, Oh, I, I wanted to share this with the group. Cause I don't want, and if you guys can post in there, that would be amazing. Um, just anything like, yay, I'm glad you guys are back online or something, or let's, you know, pump up the group. I tried to do it last night and, um, I, I posted my amazing interview with Eric just to surprise him this morning. <laughs> but, um, you said you didn't see it. So where is it? <laughs> it's just like, what is wrong with technology today? It's okay. So we'll get it all worked out. Um, Definitely. But you're, you're part of the Founders Club, um, Alexis, because you were one of the founding, um, one of the first people to join, which, which I love. So uh, it would be awesome if you could keep coming back and we'll keep bringing value when you have time. Yes, definitely. Awesome. And keep a mastermind in, in, in mind because that could be really good content for, you know, your web page. Maybe it's just talking about, you know, um, creating effective content for okay. your food business or, you know, how you engineer your menus or, you know, how you drive your team or, you know, even if you want to get in the numbers, because I know you're a numbers girl, we can talk about how important it is to reconcile. I don't, you know, things yeah. that like maybe CEOs is like, I always had my bookkeeper do that. I never looked at the bank reconciliation. Well, yeah. and that's where you would find if somebody's stealing from you, if the books mm-hmm. are off, if somebody's not allocating things properly, if, right. you know, and some C- some CEOs don't even want to look at um, whatever the bookkeeper is doing. And it's really important, like at least do that. And we could talk about how important that is. Definitely. All right. So I'll look at the, the schedule and see what I can uh, uh, move around. So yeah, yeah. good. All right. All right. Well, thank you. Well, I, I got to go. So I'm going to hop off. Okay. Y'all Take have care. a wonderful day. Okay. Thank you. You too. Bye-bye. Bye, Alexis. Bye. Bye. Thanks, Brian. You're welcome. All right. Bye-bye. See you later. Bye. 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 <laughs>